Hey everyone, Sir Terma here again. Today is going to be our third and last video with Blue Yellow Ace. If it's your first video on our channel, make sure you go back to two days ago where we did a pretty in-depth breakdown on this leader and the card choices that I have here on the screen. Now, today's matchups are going to be three games against three different leaders. We're going to start with one game against Red Purple Law, one game against a Rebecca player, I haven't gone against Rebecca in forever, and then finishing up with a game against Enel. So I hope that you enjoy the games coming up soon. And if you do, make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. Enjoy the games, and I'll see you all in later. this match. We're going against Law. I like going second. We have Garp, we have Sabo, we have Pila. I like this hand. We can start with Garp uh, here and then Pila next turn. And just attack the opponent for six. I think this is pretty good. The Amaru gets rid of their blockers. I guess I... Uh, uh, how, are they... Okay, they're playing the film package? I guess for the aim. I guess that makes sense. We have two of our kids now. And we get the third one here with the Luffy. This matchup should be good for us because our leader goes to a 7k a lot of times. And as a 7k, the opponent's going to have a hard time attacking into the ace. So that's actually decent, right? Opponent has three down here. They cannot play their four cost units. They will have to attack me for eight and then bottom the Garp, which doesn't make sense because it's going to put you really below in down. Law struggles against leaders that can get up to like more... like. It's not great against 6k leaders, much less 7k leaders, which again, it's not always guaranteed, but we get to 7k pretty often. I might not go to 7k here. I might just play Pilaf. I guess it depends. Let's see what happens, right? Yeah, so right here, I don't need to go to 7k. I think I just play Pilaf and just chill. Uh, I'll attack them for 6. Because I actually want to be at two life so that we can enable this law, uh, uh, this ace, sorry. And we get two 2k counters, that's huge. So now the opponent has to play the aim at some point, and they're going to play something else and bottom, bottom deck this guard, right? Uh, if we go down to two life, we'll be able to get value from ace. Yeah, so there's, there's the aim, just like we expected. They go for six, we'll go to two life, we get a second pill off, and we're chilling. Yeah, I mean, this is all we've done this game. We have 11 cards because of the pillars. That's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Opponent said that's a big hand. Yeah, that's a big hand. <laughs> They're gonna ha they might have law. They might have the law, and I might lose two cards here. <laughs> I triple dare you. Yeah, okay, but I, I triple dare the opponent to play their loss. The problem with law is that it also makes them... Oh, uh, they have sorrow. It's not even a law. It's a sorrow. I uh, probably don't want to continue taking this much damage, to be honest. So let's just go here. I think, I think being at two is good enough. We could go... We can get to 9k here. Okay, we got the ace. We got the ace anyway, so I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and do it this way. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and do it like this. Drop this ace. I wanna aggro them down. I'm assuming that ace is gonna die, but ace being a 7k means that the opponent has to give me a lot of stuff. So I'm just gonna go nine twice here. And let's start getting them down in health. Yeah, let's go nine twice. Opponent goes to eight cards. Remember, we have this pudding here, which is going to be kind of crazy if, they, if we actually get to pull it off. So maybe they actually counter, because the problem is that they also want to be low on hand size so that they could play the Riju. So they are, they are, they want to counter, right? They want to counter. The problem for them is that my leader being at 7k is so hard for them to attack into it because they end up doing a lot of minus done stuff. If they give me three cards here, they go to four, which means that, again, they can play Riju. If they take it, then they go to eight cards. They draw one and go to nine, and this makes the pudding really nice. 
So it's, it's kind of like a damn it if you do, damn it if you don't situation. So they end up countering, right? They give me the Otamas and a Shuriaya. They're going to have a hard time dealing with this Ace unless they have double Gordon or one Gordon and Matt's race, which means that your hand size is going to be pretty low. Again, because I'm at 7, now I can just counter Yeah, So they go race mats into race mats or into Gordon. I guess I can just attack into the ace. That's not crazy either. Yeah, I guess they can attack into the ace, huh? The ace is at 4k, so they can just attack into it. That's exactly what they're going to do. Do we ever save this ace? If we don't, the opponent opponent can just go 7-7 seven, seven here. I think we let it go. I think we tell the opponent, if you want to go 7-7, seven, seven, go ahead. No, so they're not even going to go 7-7. Seven, seven. This Shuriaya ends up being a really good blocker. Because it's going to get as big as my ace, huh? Yep, that's a nice 5k. So, we have to just find Luffy or Sabo, right? <laughs> yeah, we need to find Luffy or Sabo. We get the Sabo. Is this worth going down to one life to kill one Shuriaya? Is this worth going down to one life? I think it is. I think it is. Unfortunately, we lose the Luffy. So... How are we doing this then? Now we can actually go Amaru and get rid of the Shuriaya and get the opponent down to one. I guess we can keep this for later. We can just attack. I mean, the opponent will be able to just counter out of this, right? Yeah, we'll just attack for now. Uh, we'll keep these Amaru's for later. If opponent decides to block in a 1k, I'm okay with that. So they have to give me a car anyways. They give me a 2k. My lead is at 7k, so they can attack here. But they only have 4 done, and I have way too many cards, right? Which is why I like this, because I have way too many cards, so opponent cannot do much. So they go Buena Fiesta. They give me another 2k counter. They get the mats, so they can bottom deck the Sabo, keeping themselves alive. Yeah. We need to find, we need to find exactly Luffy. I guess that's not true. We can just go, we can just go Hiyori, right? We can just go Hiyori and be okay. Yeah, we'll go like this. The bottom deck, they play Sora and it doesn't matter. So if we don't get the Luffy, so let's say that we don't get the Luffy here. Uh, we can go Hiori, put the Luffy in the top, get this Satori. It's important for us to be at 7k. Because the opponent has a hard time dealing with a 7k. So again, we are back to in a pretty good position. This time around, the opponent cannot really block, right, with the Shiriaya. So I guess I just attack for seven. The opponent, ha I mean, attack for nine. Opponent has no cards. Opponent goes to five down, uh, three down, right? Because they use their minus, like this is the problem in this matchup. Like I'm at seven and opponent is always going to be like between three to six down. So they have to commit a lot of Dawn to attack into me, which means that all my 1Ks just become so crazy. Next time, we can just go Amaru, have Ace, and go from there. Even if they have a second Shuriai, a third Shuriai, because they really show me a, a three of them. So I'm, I'm even willing to take this life, to be honest. We don't have any little kids, so I mean, doing the Ace doesn't really matter, right? Yeah, doing the ace doesn't really matter. Opponent's gonna go for a full value. I'm gonna take it just because I'm always gonna be using this Luffy, right? So two cards. We have three attackers. 
and we have the amaru so we go like this so we can go eight nine ace is five that leaves me with four done two done on the ace takes into nine so we just go here right so we go nine I guess, honestly, I messed up. I should have gone 8. I should have gone 8 here because opponent can actually kill me now. Yeah, opponent can actually kill me, huh? Wait, no, they cannot. They took that. They took that. So now I can just put everything on the Luffy. What am I talking about? Yeah, yeah. We went for 9. Opponent only had 2 cards, so they couldn't counter. And then we just go 15. I don't know. I, I, was, about to, I was about to make like a dumb misplay and play Ace, even though we just boom, boom. So, <laughs> GG's. In this match, we're going against Rebecca. I haven't seen or played against a Rebecca in ages. <sighs> I might keep this hand. I like the fact that I don't have any of my big kits. And um, Luffy or Sabo? I'm going to grab the Sabo. I'm going to grab the Sabo because I can I can uh, KO their um, Orlombos with the Sabo. Yeah, they're playing Gecko now. I forgot about that. I guess we can just go seven and just play a second guard. I don't want to peek and just randomly throw cards away, by the way. Yeah, we'll go seven. A putting good counter here to get themselves to be able to play the Rebecca ability. Which they will. So then we'll go here. And I will grab another ace. We'll grab another ace. What is still a five life? We have these aces. We have Sabo. My leader being at 7k. We should be able. So this are Lombos that just went by by opponent actually straight up play the Kaya. So their hand must be pretty bad. So their Lombo got this uh, got thrown away. They decided to grow that Solomon. They throw away the Suleiman. They also have this one-legged toy soldier now. I guess we'll just go like this. <laughs> it's funny how we actually didn't hit any of them. I, I didn't mean to put that, by the way. I didn't mean to put that there. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, I, I did not mean to do that. We could go Hiori. Does that matter? Can I just end up being an extra life? Or we can just go five and seven and let this go bye-bye. I think it's better for me to just go five and seven. Let's just put pressure. I didn't mean to put the Luffy on the top. I think it's too early for me to go for this Yori. It's just unfortunate that we didn't hit the Ace or the Sabo. I do want to go down to two life so that I can have this Sabo rush. So I think Try to swap the life doesn't actually make sense. The one-legged toy soldier does nothing right now. Eventually he will though. Eventually the opponent will be able to KO my stuff. A little bit awkward there, right? Not getting our stuff. Trashing this Luffy again was a mistake, but it is what it is. They are playing the raging too. Wow. Okay, so Sabo doesn't actually kill their stuff anymore. Wow, wow, wow. I guess I could still... So I'm concerned... Okay, actually, this is not bad. This is actually not bad. Let's go here. We'll grab this. And I guess we'll put this in the top like this. Uh, We'll have a 5k here. And then we'll have a Setsuke. Pony could block it now, but if they do that, I will try to target that Sabo. Okay. I don't have a single big kid on the top of my life, which is actually good because it means we have a higher chance of finding them with Ace. This Sabo can still KO the opponent's Sabo, like the big Sabo is what I mean. We will be trashing the Satori, though, if we do that. 
They could just straight up play more rare. If they have another one. Oh, it's just gonna be Luffy. Okay. So they just they're just gonna play. Okay, so they're just gonna play Luffy. They're gonna restand it as well. It doesn't make sense unless like killing. I guess I guess you just wanna leave it active. Well, I guess it makes sense because that way I cannot actually kill it. Yeah, you definitely don't attack with it. Okay, so we have we have all our kits here. We have all our kits. We can go like this, and we get Ace. We get the one that we didn't want right now. So we get the one that we didn't want right now. Hmm. I guess we have we have enough value that I'm okay doing it. Yeah, I, 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 I'm okay doing it. There's two other options as well. So there's a couple options here that I can do. Oops, sorry. My, my screen just like went everywhere. I could play the Hiori, but that means that the Ace is not like the Hiori doesn't work. So I guess it just has to be like this. It just has to be like this. We'll play the Ace and uh, we'll attack the opponent for three sits here seven so i will attack them for seven and then for nine so seven here is gonna force the block or a 2k and a 1k and then this guy is nine the ace didn't get the rush so if they're blocking there i think it's correct for us to just get rid of the sabo right now although again i can always kill the sabo with this sabo but then that means i have to give up a life right so I think I'm fine going here for still point to give me two two Ks. They are going to give me the two two Ks. All right. So that ended up kind of working out more or less like I wanted it to. The opponent doesn't have the double attack here yet. And they will have to literally get rid of the whole graveyard to be able to attack here twice. Let's force him to do it. I want to force them to have to restand this Luffy. That way it makes their Gecko Moira a lot worse. So if they actually go ahead and restand Luffy, they're going to be sending everything, which is going to make it super bad for the future attacks that they'll put in my half. And they decided to just go for another 9k. Is this ever worth saving? I don't think so. So they have nothing else in the trash now. So their Gecko Moira is kind of dead. Their Rebecca is kind of dead. Their next Luffy's don't really get to withstand, right? So the Luffy's not a threat. Or Lombos is the annoying part here. Because the opponent's going to be able to have Kiros. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just go after the Kaya, right? Uh, we have two ways to do this, right? We can go Sabo. So we can actually go, if we find an Ace or a Luffy or another Sabo, we're chilling. So we find the Ace. We find Ace. We also find second Sabo. That would put me pretty low, though. Uh, we actually have to go Sabo. I think I'm actually down to go Sabo. Sabo, trash life, Sabo. Okay, no, we, yeah, we go here. And down to go, and down to go like this. And uh, let's go second Sabo. I can't remember. I can't remember how I organized this. Yeah, let's go here. So this is a nine. This guy cannot restand. It's not really a threat. We'll go here. And we'll go like this. We have to try to kill them here sooner or later. So I guess the opponent could restand this now by trashing the legged soldier. They can trash the legged soldier. 
The thing is that they they need they need something else for Kiros to actually matter. Maybe I, I, it, this this also sets me up for a Maru, so that's why I don't mind going down to one. I should have trashed the bottom life though. I probably wanted to keep this Luffy. I guess I have another one. I probably wanted to keep the Satori. Opponent could play a second Luffy here and just attack into my Sabo. But it's at two life. We need to be able to we need to be careful that we're not dying, right? Especially if we don't get our leader to a 7k next turn, it's, I, it's a good chance that I can just die. I don't have enough cards. When it has 3 life, we have 10 down, we have 3 attackers. Assuming the opponent cannot kill anything. They don't have any meaningful blockers, even if they play more than. Some of their hand could be Kekiros. They could have the 7 mana event that we saw them trash away earlier. And that would be annoying. The good thing is that this Luffy can only get one attack in. And it forces the opponent to have to have seven cards. So they go for Rebecca. They go Sabo. And I guess they're going to just go Sabo here. Yeah, they're just going to go Sabo here and just have a ton of cards. Okay, so they get to they get to develop their board while keeping themselves alive. So now this is a problem because it means that... Yeah, that was, that was, that was a crazy... That was a crazy turn for them. That's unfortunate. And they still have one down to use their Rebecca ability. They still have one down. They trash away the gravity. Oh no, sorry. They grab the sad another Sabo. That sucks. Yep, this sucks. Rebecca kind of changed everything. They then being able to re to get that Sabo again now means that the opponent has enough blockers. They're gonna actually restand the Luffy as well. Wait, that's good for me. Because he... You won't be able to restand him next turn. I mean, we know we can deal with the Rebecca. Right? So we know that we can deal with the Rebecca, so that's not a problem. Um, We'll just play this here, just so that we have this to be a 9k, right? Question is, do I want to have Maru right now? I probably don't want to have Maru right now. So this is going to be 8, 8... This is already nine, so we can go nine three times. Yeah, I don't think I care about the Rebecca right now, because I, 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 I let the opponent block with her. Yeah, I let the opponent block with her. Okay, we know they're going to play another Sabo next turn. So the Amaru doesn't do anything for us. Now, they don't have enough cards in their trash. Are you going to save that Sabo? Okay. They don't have enough cards in their trash to actually have, like, this Luffy be meaningful. So they only really have two... I mean, they, they still have two attacks. They have Amaru... Uh, sorry, they have Kyrus and they have Luffy. They have another Sabo. They can kill my units here. Let's force him to do more. Because this is going to be a nice 8k, right? So let's force him to do more. You have to trash four more cards to be able to restand this Luffy. Your Rebecca gets you one. Your Sabo gets you two. Absolutely. They need to play the second Sabo. So I think they want to play second Sabo here anyways. So I'm just going to save my cards. Opponent has no way to threaten my leader anymore. And I just keep all my units. The Sabo is annoying though. Rebecca doesn't matter. Yeah, it's just going to be Sabo. You trash two cards here. You go to five. Yeah, you have you have to trash your non-counter cards because you know I have a bunch of attackers here. If we put in place a three cost blocker, Amaru still kind of deals with that. Three six cards, one life, one blocker. Okay, so five cards, 
one blocker. Ah, uh, that's still fine, right? So how do we do this? Five cards, one life, one blocker. We can go eight for three over here. We can go eight, eight, eight. Oh wait, we have three. Okay, so we can go nine, nine, nine. We can go nine three times, right? Am I missing something? Four done, one done, three done, three done. So we'll go like this. We'll throw this sab on the top. Use this to trash that. We get an ace. Does that change anything here? No, right? We go Amaru. Buff this up. Rest that. And this is going to be nine. Oh, shoot. I added an extra down there. That was supposed to be a 9k attack. Opponent took it. So since the opponent took it now, we just go 9, 8, 9, 10, 10, and then 6, right? Or is it still going to be 8 and 9, 9? I meant to put, I meant to put, I, I, I meant to just have this be a 9k. The fact that this is going to be only an 8 is actually a problem. Yeah, the fact that we only have one, eight, one like this is going to be 8. Okay, so 6 is forcing a 2k. Then we go 10 block, and then 10 is 2k, 2k, 2k. If we go 7, I guess I prefer to go 7, to be honest. I think I'm going to go like this. I think I'm going to go 7. That's forcing two cards. There it is. So this is a 9, and this is going to be a 10, right? So then we go 9. It's forcing three cards, and they don't have it. All right. I, I did mess up. I did mess up because I added that extra done there, but it didn't matter because the opponent just didn't have enough. And part of the reason was that their trash was really messed up early on from having to use this Luffy ability as many times as they did. So GG. In this match, we're going against Ace. Ah, sorry. Against Enel. I don't know why I said Ace. Uh, I like the Garp. I also like the Pudding. I think I keep this hand, to be honest. We want to find the little kids, right? So we have the Ace here, which is kind of what we're looking for. We want to have the little kids because we want to have the little kids to kind of like... Okay, so there we go. We have all three little kids now. Um, honestly, I'm down to go five and five. I'm also not opposed... Yeah, I'm, I'm down to do this. Have the opponent take all of this and then we just play put in next turn. Yeah, I think, I think we just play put in next turn. Opponent's going to lose at least, uh, at least three cards, right? Because they're going to be at eight here. I'm assuming they're going to be an 8. Yeah. All right. So uh, we're going to just go like this. Just reset their hand. Have them lose three cards and we'll just attack. Opponent already goes on to one. Now the ace helps me out a lot. Imagine if we drew a second pudding. The ace helps me out a lot because obviously it lets me uh, just get a lot of value here. We're going to take this because we want to get down to two so that we can actually have the ace come down. Okay. So... We can take them down. I, I guess if we get an ace on the top, we can take them down to one life. And then we, and we get it, right? So we get the ace on the top, right? So we get the ace on the top, which means that we can go ahead and play this ace here. Deploy this. This is a nine. This is going to be a ten. I guess we'll go like this. We'll go nine. That's going to be Three cards from the opponent, or they're gonna have to take the life. They end up taking it. They get a Shirahoshi, so they get to refill their hand a little bit. And then I guess we'll just go for 10, right? We'll just go for 10 and see what happens. We have enough counters. Yeah, we'll just go for 10 and just get them down to zero life or let or have them give me a ton of cards. My leader being at 7k here. Okay, yeah, so they go to zero here. They can have Katakuri, I guess, to go back, and they have Threw away a Katakuri, so they could have a second Katakuri here. So they could go Katakuri to go back to one life, and that's exactly what they do, and they have the Shirahoshi. But they cannot kill any of my units. Um, we can kind of just do the same thing again, right? I guess this time around, we probably don't have a second ace. 
Hmm. Uh, we can also... So, I guess we'll go like this first. Yeah, we don't have a second ace, which is important. Eh? I still want to get this leader to 9 if I can. Yeah, the, the thing is that we don't have a second ace. Like a second little ace, right? So, we could play this Luffy. And we don't have to we don't have to use this ability right now, right? So we'll just play the Luffy on the top. And uh we'll play this little Luffy here. Just deploy this. This is a nine. This is gonna get ten. Eleven. Um nine, nine, seven. I like the triple nine. I, I like the double nine. So I like nine here. Opponent has to give me three cards. They don't give it to me. They just decide to do their thing. I kind of like going nine here and then seven here, to be honest. I kind of like this. Yeah, I kind of like this. So we can go like this. We can go for nine. Opponent's probably going to have Yamato anyways. So they actually take it. So they still have to give me two cards, though. I guess if they have a trigger here, they should be okay. Yeah, so they still have to give me two cards because of this uh, pudding attacking. So they have to give me two cards here, go down to six cards in their hand. Satori, Satori. So double 2k. That tells me a lot. Next turn, we'll have Ace and Luffy still. We have two lives. Opponent is going to go for the Yamato, not even going to focus on killing my units. Interesting. I'm at 7k. I guess, yeah, I guess obviously they get to kill the pudding. Nothing I can do there because they have multiple attacks. There are two options. If they attack for eight, we just go 2k. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they go like that. Uh, we can give them a 1k here. I guess let's give them Savo. Mm. Which one do we give them? Yeah, let's give them the Savo here, and then we just give them a 2k. Yeah, we give them a 2k here, which is probably going to be Hiori. All right. Hmm. Um. Hmm. We know that we can take this life and just set up to also have a Maru. So we have three attacks. Opponent has six cards and they show me a lot of two Ks. If we go here, this doesn't really help us unless we get Savo on the top. We might as well just do it and we get exactly Savo. So we get exactly Savo, so we might as well just play this. Yeah, we might as well just play this. Um, I don't want to use the Savo ability, though. I think I'm just going to use the... I, I just want to get my leader to be at 7, right? I just want to get my leader to be at 7. We're not going to use this ability. So this is going to be a 9. I guess, okay, I, guess I, I can go to 11, 11, and 8. So we know that this can go to 8. I think I'd rather go 11. I think I'd rather go... Sorry, I'd rather go 9 here. Have the opponent take it. We know that the opponent has a bunch of 2Ks. We do have another Ace that we could technically play if necessary. This guy can go to 8, but I don't know that I actually want to go and get him to 8 right now. The opponent could have another Yamato, I guess, and we'll back to the same spot. But the opponent is slowly running out of cards. So they actually found Nami. So that's even worse now, because now we know that the opponent can just straight up just have their Nami. So, okay, so I guess we're not gonna we're not gonna kill them here, right? Yeah, we're not gonna kill them. We just have to get them down to zero life again. So we'll go here, and then we just play another Ace. Okay. And this is gonna force him to have to have another Yamato, right? Or I guess they just counter. All right, so they counter counter. I'm at seven. If opponent has the second Yamato, they can go to two life. They do have their restart next turn. I only have two two Ks and a one K. They decide to go after Luffy, which I'm okay with because we still have this second ace. I guess they can kill this ace as well. This, uh, we have because we have the second ace, I think I'm fine. Yeah, I, I think we... 
I guess we we have three we have three attacks. So it's gonna depend on whatever the opponent gets from their trigger here. Um I do have to be careful, I guess, not to die. So we'll go here. And we can go to one here. Yeah, so the opponent can put two, and then they can put like a yeah, so we'll go like this. We have a Maru. Ah, they get another life. Oh, that's huge. So the Shiva Hoshi helps them out. So with three life, we can't do anything against three life. So they have the second Karakuri, the third Karakuri, right? That's ridiculous. Yeah, that Onami trigger completely messed me up, huh? I guess I should have attacked with Ace first at one turn. I guess the opponent would have just stopped the Luffy if that was the case. So how do we do this? I'm not surviving next turn, especially because I have no way to get my leader... I have no way to get my leader to 7 right now. Mm. Yeah, this is rough. This is rough. Yeah, there's no way I can go 1-2 and then I have the ace attack and that's it. So I guess maybe we actually try to kill their units then. Does that work? I don't think it works. Opponent still has 3 attacks and I'm only going to be at 5. So we have 2k, 2k, 2k and a 1k. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll go like this. What, 10? An opponent can just kill Sao next turn? This is sucks. Yeah, they got it. So they, they even got it. They got a regen and an ace, so GG's. Yeah, I don't think I was going to be like... That was just tough. That was just tough because the opponent got the Nami. Otherwise, I feel like I could have definitely be able to push now. It's crazy how we got into zero life, where the opponent just happened to have Karakuri into Yamato, into another Karakuri, and we didn't find any more of our little kids. I needed the ace. I needed, I needed like, ace, and we only found one little ace this game, which is what I needed, so GG. Hey, welcome back, everyone. Hope you enjoyed those games against Law, uh, Rebecca, and Enel. Uh, unfortunately, just lost against that NL, man. They just had so much healing, right? And that's without Ace, right? That was just Katakiri and Yamato. That deck is going to be ridiculous when they have the 10 cost Ace that can also rush while also healing them up. That's going to be absolutely crazy. OP07 is going to be crazy for NL. The other two games, though, you kind of got to see what this deck can do, especially against Law. I feel like it ends up being a really good matchup for us. I think all this started 13 deck leaders especially luffy and ace do really well against uh law because us going to 7k it's really hard for the opponent's law player to really do anything about it so yeah that was that was really fun there and you got to see that now this is our last video with ace we have covered this for the past three days now we have one more started deck 13 leader to cover and that's going to be sabo so we're going to be seeing some sabo videos here over the next few days so if you want to keep up to date with that make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us we post one piece video gameplay every single day. You can also find us on Twitch at Tuesday Tomo, we stream every now and then. And you can also find us on Discord and Twitter. The links to those are both in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all again tomorrow.